Hey, are you ready to say screw it? I'm gonna get up and do it. Well, go ahead, get your shoes on and get ready to walk. Let's go, I'll give you a minute. Be sure to check out my merch shop before you leave today. I've been putting together these designs for the carnivore community to be able to screw it, get up and do it. Check out some of the other designs I've got going on right now. Did someone say steak? I've got legalized freedom gear, and I've got new designs on the way. Whew. Yeah, I'm working on my second mile right now, or just about to finish my second mile. Got one more mile to go. Thought I'd come get you guys and see if you want to come along and go get a walk in and get a few squats in. I got my 100 squats in. I'll tell you, doing it with this 24 pound vest on, I am really surprised that I'm able to just knock out 100 because the last half dozen times I did squats, I don't think I had the vest on. And uh, the, the time before that, I didn't get to 100. But uh, it's nice to be able to get back to that. I feel a lot stronger these past few days. I did get some rest this past weekend though. So that probably had a lot to do with it. I took a break over the weekend. Labor Day weekend, didn't get a lot of labor. I did spend some time on some videos for you guys, but I didn't do any work, yard work or regular work. And that was a nice rest. But you know, my body does better when it's under pressure. So it's kind of nice to be back in the cooker. The cooker that comes with having to work every day to produce, to perform, to be able to make my videos for you guys, to encourage you to keep on going, to keep on getting that exercise that you need, to start that diet that you've been talking about doing. I'm still amazed at how many people I run into that just have no idea what meat can do for your health, what going to an all carnivore diet can do for your health. If you've tried every other aspect, and you still find yourself struggling with weight loss, struggling with brain fog and fatigue, inability to have any exercise done, worry and doubt and fear. All of these things can be exacerbated simply by having a horrible diet, having the same standard American diet most everyone has around the world because we've exported it. But you know, this is something I noticed when I went to Italy back in 2006, I spent two weeks over there eating the fresh food that they make. So much of it, even pasta, the stuff comes fresh. They didn't get it out of a box somewhere that was uh, filled with seed oils and all kind of other things that are not good for us that I won't get into detail on. It was fresh and I could tell when I got back to the United States, everything tasted stale. I could taste the freezer on the food at Olive Garden. I mean, it just tasted different. And it kind of made me nauseous when I got back. I remember thinking then, there's something serious about something wrong with our food. And it was shortly after that that I started Atkins diet. And I dropped from 302 pounds to 214 pounds in about six months time. But you know, I didn't make a serious change about what I think about food. I was just doing a diet back then. And I lost the weight, but then eventually I gained it back. Before long, I would know I was I hit a high again of 289 pounds. Just trying to weed out some carbohydrates, doing like a halfway low carb diet, you know? But not really, not really avoiding the junk, but avoiding the occasional bread or the occasional extra pasta. But then other times I would indulge. So it was all just a bunch of chaos and time wasting, really. But once I found this way of eating, the lion diet, trained me that I didn't need all of the other things I thought I needed to be able to survive. But it also trained my body that it could heal itself. And then I could feel young again and strong again, be fast again and think clear again, perform like I did when I was younger, even better in some cases. I climbed a rope that I never was able to even climb in high school. I am currently my high school wrestling weight, the weight that I had to struggle to get down to so I wouldn't have to wrestle heavyweight. Uh, 
I mean, it's just been a revolutionary. And you can have that too. If you haven't gotten your diet worked out where your body is responding like it should, what are you waiting for? Go back and check out my first video. Check out my playlist on coming with me on my lion diet journey. And you can see the progress from the beginning through the first few months, which is where most of the magic happened. After that, I started exercising and I started really slimming down and starting to work on areas of my body that I never even considered would be savable again. So it can happen to you. You've just got to realize that you need to make a change. And when you do, try something you haven't tried before. Try something that's working for thousands of other people across the internet that are finding healing in a carnivore style diet. Find it in what I've talked about. Whatever it is, find the one that works for you. Stick with it and get healthy. One thing you're gonna want with all the chaos that's coming down the pike with a lot of bad decisions being made these days on the very highest levels is you're gonna wanna be healthy. You're gonna wanna be strong enough to face whatever comes your way today. As if life wasn't hard enough on its own. We got masters of the universe plotting all kind of craziness. You know, trying to move the chessboard around and we're just little pawns. Well, be strong so you don't get sacrificed like the little pawn. Be ready for what comes down the pike. I'll see you next time. If we pay extra, could we maybe get some grease or fat?